And welcome back for the fourth match that we're playing with our modern Murpho deck here on Outside the Deck Box at PureMTGO.com. I've lost the die roll again, because that's how I roll apparently. And we'll be keeping this hand. We've got a couple of two drops in the Lord and the Commander. And we've got our Aether Vial. So let's just see how it works out for us. Temple Garden and the Loam Lion. So we're either playing probably some sort of zoo. That's my phone charging. And a Facebook message. Rancor. That's not fun. We'll go ahead and get the Coral Helm Commander out here. We're not revealing too much extra information. And next turn we can violin the Lord of Atlantis and spreading seas of land. Do I want to block the Goblin Guide? No, I don't want to block the Goblin Guide. Do I want to race? Put me at 10? I should block. Yes, we'll move that up to two counters. He knows that the master is there, so we'll go ahead and play it. You know, for two blue mana instead of just a blue and a white. A second Rancor. Delightful. Um, we're going to bring the Lord of Atlantis into play. And we'll block here and take three. If he's got another Tribal Flames or uh, not Might of Old Crosa, but the uh, the Tribal Pump spell, I'm cold to it anyways. I do like his Urza's Legacy Rancors though. And we're done. Okay. So, we're finally going to see our Path of Exiles come in and our Threads. We will be taking out the images. I'm going to keep the Spreading Seas in. Well, I'm going to keep three in because of the possibility of harassing his mana. 
but I don't believe this is a very good matchup to begin with, so I'm not going to be heartbroken if I lose. I don't think I boarded wrong. Yeah, we'll keep this. We can spreading seas his first drop or his first land drop. We can't spread to seize that. We can spread to seize the next one. Ooh, experiment one. That's cool. Spreading seeds to garden. A second blue source there would have been mighty awesome. Ooh, Kurdic. Yeah, so we're definitely against some sort of zoo here. Tectonic Edge. What is the name of that tribal, or not tribal, but domain pump spell? I don't recall. But it's not lightning bolt, that's for sure. I'd like to draw a second blue source. Like curse catcher is probably going to eat it. Be gone. Let's activate this meter vault and block the experiment one. Better lightning bolts at my creatures and not at my face.
really, I guess, no point in trying to block any of these creatures because he's got an active lava mancer. So we'll go ahead and take three. He's got a red, white, green, black, and blue, so he's got all five. And a vexing double. We'll go ahead and destroy land. Uh, we are going to take four, I believe. And we're going to go ahead and concede because we're not going to be able to survive three, five, seven, nine points of damage. Uh, land screw sometimes happens in magic. It's a shame that it had to happen against one of the worst matchups that I have. I would have liked it to have been a little more competitive, but it is what it is. We'll be back right here on puremtgo.com with a another video of the modern merfolk deck uh, here on outside the deck box thanks for watching